hello as we know prevalence we calculate in two way first one is known as point prevalence and second one is known as period prevalence so here we'll discuss a specific example how to calculate the point prevalence so for example point prevalence suppose 5500 persons aged 60 plus years in a town or in a community or in a particular place or village and 700 cases of coronary artery disease were found among them. The prevalence of coronary artery disease which is CAD in that town at that time would be so we have to calculate the prevalence and here mention at that time particular time means this fixing the point of the time so we need to calculate the point prevalence so solution will start first we know the point prevalence formula number of subjects with the disease so here number of subjects with the disease is 700 and num population at risk at that time so it is given 5500 and k multiplied by k represents is the constant value if we are talking about the in percentage will multiply by 100 if we are Talking about out of thousands, we'll multiply thousand or ten thousand or per lakhs. So it's depend on the, how you are going to interpret the value. So once we know the formula already is given and this number is given and numerator and denominator already is given, we have to just put the value here 700 and 5500. Multiply by 100 here we are multiplying. Why? Because we are taking the values here. Decimal points 2, 0, 0.13. So once we will multiply by 100, so we will get the 13% of the point prevalence. So here that's why we are going to talk in terms of the percentage. So once we got this value, now important point is to interpretation. What is the meaning of this 30%? So we can interpret it like for every 100 persons, because we are talking in percentage, for every 100 persons aged 60 plus years, we can find on average 13 persons with the CAD, coronary artery disease in that town at that particular time when we have found these cases so this is about point prevalence we need to understand thank you